Hey everybody, Frank here. We're going to do another DIY e-liquid recipe today. This one's a better Boston cream donut. And as you can see, we're using just six flavors today. And this one is basically because I've received, I went ahead and picked up Chem Nevada's Boston, or Chem Nevada's donut. I'm trying to see if I can get rid of that glare. There you go, you can kind of see it there. And this stuff is like super dark. I'm really interested in using this. And this is basically the premise why I picked this up. Uh, I saw Wendy Babes. I'll give her some credit. She did a, I think it was a jelly donut. And she used this. And I've been looking for a really good donut flavor. Really good donut vape. I haven't found one yet. I did one about a Boston cream donut a little while back. And it turned out good. But it wasn't something that I could vape all day. That I can put in a tank and vape all week long while I'm on the road. And I figured I'd give this one a shot. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to mix this up. As you can see, it's pretty simple. And let's go down low, let's check it out, and let's see what we can come up with. Let's go down there. See ya. All right, guys. Let's see, we got our bottle all set. Let's get this puppy all mixed up. I'm going to start off, I'm going to throw in our nicotine. Got 1.24 grams. There we go, that'll work close enough. A little over, it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna add some extra PG. We're gonna go 70-30. So we got 12.44 on the PG. A little, a little messy there. And I've just been looking for a really good Boston cream. You know, something similar to like hit that donut. You know, their Boston cream is just one of the best ones out there. I've yet to actually try it, but I want, you know, Boston cream is actually my favorite donut to eat. So if I can come up with a good bait, that's what I'm really looking for. A little, a little over, but it'll be all right. 12.54. We'll zero that back out. And we're going to start off with chocolate glazed donut. This is a flavor I bought a while back from chefs and yet to use it. And the reason why I'm using this is I didn't want to use anything that's real heavy on chocolate just because I didn't want chocolate to dominate this mix. I just wanted to kind of like be there in the background. I want to go 1%, so I want to go 0. 0.6. And this is probably out of the glaze, you know, chocolate glazed donuts. It's probably the best one out there. I mean, compared to like Capella's chocolate glazed donut, that one is nowhere near as good as this. Now let's put in this Hemiovatic donut at 1.2. This is going to be a really dark, dark juice. This is going to this is going to do a number on your cotton. Man, it went a little heavy, but it's all right. It'll work. All right, next we're going to put in some French vanilla ice cream from Hankson. And with that, compare it with the vanilla custard, too. You know, you're going to get that Boston cream. Because, you know, Boston cream, you get that French vanilla note to it. Just go in the half, because this is pretty strong. You see these little bottles, you think you're getting ripped off, but they're actually still 10 mils. And then next, we're going to have a little bit of sweetener because come on, it's a donut, it's going to be sweet. So, we're going to go 1% flavor west sweetener, 0.6. For some reason, when it comes to bakeries, I tend to go lean towards. Flavor West for some reason when it comes to my sweetener. More than TFA. Not sure why, it's just something I do. Now we're gonna put in a little buttercream frosting from TF or from Bake Train. And the reason why I'm using this is to get that frosting note without adding a bunch of extra sweetness. And I'm hoping it plays well with the uh, chocolate glazed donut. You know, to create like that. And uh, you know, chocolate frosting on top of a uh, Boston. 
without let's say without making the chocolate will dominate. Right, 0.28. I'll throw another drop. Another registers in my hand. Close enough. That'll work. Now vanilla custard too. If you don't have this and you want to use custard premium, you probably go one to one, or if you want to watch, uh, knock down the you know, custard like two and a half or something, you're more than welcome. I think you'll get a very similar result. I mean, I have custard premium, but I just wanted to use the vanilla custard too, just because I like it. It's a really, really nice, sweet, rich custard. It reminds me a lot of, uh, you know, custard premium. Nailed it, right on the number. All right, let's go with 52.97 on the VG, and we'll be done with it. That up. A little heavy, but then we went a little heavy on the. PG and stuff, so it'll bounce. I ain't worried about it. I'm gonna be dripping it anyway. All right, let's take that off of there. Let's go back up to uh, FaceTime. And there we go. What's up, guys? We're back. Let's give this a bottle a good turn so the cap doesn't come off. You know, the tip doesn't come off too bad when we uh, go ahead and drip this puppy. Yeah, I know. I haven't shaved, but oh well. you see, I got the, the signs up from my daughter from Father's Day. I saw this on the show last week or two weeks ago. By the time you see this video, give this puppy a good old shake. Let's see what we're gonna get. Addy Tooney, this FaceTime is for you. This is eye contact. I'm looking at you, Addy Tooney, the man, the myth, the real legend out there. All right, let's see what we got here. The tip stayed. Get rid of that. Rewick the uh, Wasp Nano. Let's go ahead and take the cap off of there. See, I got some fresh cotton there. These space coils, I've had these since I got this from Liana at the rally in November. So these coils are eight months old. I mean, granted, I don't use this every day. Like I do, like my tanks and stuff like that, or my, or my, my profiles and stuff like that. But it's still, yeah, they're good coils. Of course, it over dripped a little bit. Of paper towel. Get this all cleaned up. Now we're point two, point two, two one. 2-2 two, two is stainless steel, you can tell, so. Oh, that just moved over. There we go. Get the airflow just right. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's see what we get. Let's give this thing a few pulls with that cotton break in. That yeah, cotton needs to break in a little bit. Let's get... Give her a few pulls here because this cotton broke in nice. Use some anger rabbit cotton. You know, because it does have much of a break in time. And it's good for, you know, a couple of uses. I mean, you're not going to, it's not cotton that you want to use in an RTA where you don't want to have to rewick all the time. But for something like this, a little flavor test, you know, it's a good cotton to use. It's whistly as heck, ain't it? Try to get this right. Not bad. This is not bad at all. Not really. I mean, I'm getting the, the donuts very, very, very prominent. The cream really isn't there yet, though. I do actually get a little bit of that chocolate from the chocolate donut. I'm not sure if it's just power of suggestion 
or if I'm really getting that. It's decent. This is is one that uh, you get an opportunity to mix it if you have all them flavors. If you went to Bull City and picked up the Chem Nevada no donut, uh, go ahead and give this a mix. And if you do, go on ELR, rate it for me, please. You know, a lot of us, you know, put stuff up and make it public. We don't really get a whole lot of reviews and a whole lot of ratings on it. And the only reason why I didn't put this on all the flavors is I don't believe they have the Chem I'm almost positive they don't have Chem Nevada over on all the flavors. They don't have that. They don't have VSO. I, mean, I don't know what they're doing over there. They're taking our money, and that's about it. Not bad, not bad at all. Give another drip. Get that broke in. And guys, if you get an opportunity, go to Casa. They need our help right now. They've never asked us for anything as far as the consumer goes. Uh, but they've always represented us. They've always represent re represented us well. Uh, Mark Anton, Alex Clark, they do they do a really great job over there. Uh, if you have an opportunity, if you're on Facebook, join, and if you haven't already, join the state organizations for CASA. There's you know, one for every state in the country. And if you're, you know, if you're overseas, you know, I understand you, know, you have your own fight over there, at least most of you. But if you get the opportunity, you, know, you can go, go to CASA and you know, donate through PayPal. You know, we, really, we really appreciate it because... We're in a brawl. I mean, it's getting uglier and uglier, you know, and if, with being an election year, I got a, a mailer from the uh, state attorney general here in North Carolina, which you know, asking for a vote. And it's like, no, you son of a bitch, you ain't getting shit from me. I will. I don't care if there's a serial killer voting, you know, running against you. I'll vote for him before I vote for your ass. You, you know, you've been a, an opponent of vaping since day one. This is not bad. This I think this is gonna steep out really nice. I'm gonna put I haven't put a steep time yet on on here, but for I make it public, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put this about five days. Four to five days, and I think this will really come out nice. Yep. I'm gonna say that about four or five days. This will be good. Put a little marker. Always mark them is what I like to do. Boston Cream Donut, BCD, 7030. I always put the date. I pretty much know my nick level, so I ain't got to worry about that. Take that up. And that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, like, share, subscribe. You know, appreciate it. You know, we're tr trying to get that thousand subs. It's not easy. Uh, it's been, you know, it's been a long time coming, you know, getting closer and closer. So if you get, you know, tell your friends if, you know, if they're into DIY and if they're into, you know, just hanging out and watching shows on Saturday nights, you know, we're there for that too. All right, everybody. Be good. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. And we'll see you either live or we'll see you on another video. Bye, everybody.